What up, dudes? We are playing Reventure today, a game I just randomly stumbled on on Steam um, in the new releases section, and it, it brags about its reviews in its Steam tagline. Apparently, there's 100 different endings. You never know what's going to happen, how you're going to die, and the reviews are good. So I figure we'll give it a shot today. Uh, hopefully it doesn't suck ass. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Everything started as a pretty normal day in Tim's life. Oops, my mouse is in the way. Let me get that off the screen for you guys. That would just be an awful, awful reality. Anyway, here we are in a little house. Let's have some fun. What's this sign? Teaching us how to play the game? I'm sure I can finger it out. What do you gotta say, dude? Good morning, Tim. The king is waiting for you inside. Well, shit, dude. Let me get on over there, then. Are you the king? No, that's... Is that the same dude? How'd you get in there? What? Okay. Not really understanding how that happened. The Dark Lord has taken the princess to his fortress to the east. Grab the legendary sword to the west and fulfill your destiny. Tim! Okie dokie. Hello? Ah, oh, please, Tim, hurry and bring me my hot daughter back. I must see her awesome boobage once again. You guys a fucking creep, dude. What the hell? Some weird dialogue. Anyway, we got the shield here. You got the hero shield. Sweet. Got our shield, guys. Pretty neat. Um, sorry, Tim. Oh, this is a different guy. Sorry, Tim. We've raised the bridge to prevent attacks from the Dark Army. I can't let you pass without a weapon. Uh, so it looks like we just can't go that way. Um, can we get up there? Seems like we probably could. Um, so we'll have to give that a shot at some point. Anyway, let's head on back this way and see what we can do. Apparently, you can just leave out the back. Q. What is over yonder way? Uh, what is this? Hello? What the? Um, this looks like some streamer stuff. I'm not a streamer man today. I'm a YouTube man. So let's, let's not do that. Let's grab this sword to the west. I would imagine this is the only way to progress. But yeah, hopefully this game doesn't suck, guys. With all the different ways to die, hopefully it's good. It's dangerous to go alone. I can't tell if that's like an old lady or a slug or, or what it is. There's not many pixels there, so. Whatever it is, that's what we'll go for it. You got the sword of the legend. Oh. I'm just gonna keep going, man. I don't give a shit, dude. Can we jump that high? It seems like every time we pick up a new item, our, uh... The amount of height we can get on our jump is a little bit retarded. You know what I mean? Like, we can't get as high. Ugh. Okay, there we go. Um, Let's head on over here. I should have read that first. I'm a fucking idiot. Shop. The. Oh, <laughs> when you break it, it tells you what it says on each piece. Is that what's going on there? It does, dude. That's nuts. What up, bro beans? I'm totally 100% out of stock. Sorry, no stuff for you. <clears throat> oh, my God. I'm so sorry, dude. Wait, what? Is this the first ending? Being a shopkeeper is tough. Low wages, long hours, mean customer. No, don't make me feel even worse about this. Oh. And also the occasional serial killer that comes into your shop, stabs you and steals your all your good stuff. I really fucked up that last sentence. Ending nine of 100. Press any button. Hey, we got our first ending, dude. So there's a hundred of those? Oh, that's really cool, dude. Oh, that's actually really neat. Okay, so what happens now? Is it like Groundhog Day? Tim's business was with stolen merchandise. Wasn't working out the way he thought. So we woke up ready to look for an adventurous alternative. Okay, let's just go grab that sword then and and continue, I guess. We'll, uh, because the game wants us to grab a sword and then head to the right. So we'll, we'll make that happen. Because the game really, really would be happy if we do that. What up, feller? All right, we'll uh, head back left another time, but we should probably actually... Oh, there's probably more stuff past the shop. Is this the... Oh, what's here? What do we have here? Ooh, a shovel. You got the shovel. Oh, sweet, dude. Oh, now it comes to... The... It looks like we can dig down or go back. Oh, dude, there's gonna be so many... Oh, non-linear games and me don't get along very well, guys. I'm so stupid. I just, uh... I have to just see what's new, and now we're in the lava zone. What's over here? Oh! I probably don't want to touch that. I'm gonna go down, dig a little bit more here. Dude, it's hard to tell what's lava and what's not. What's that yellow thing there? I kind of want to touch it, but I don't know if I can make that jump. I'm just gonna keep going down. What are these? Are these, like... Why are they lit up? It looks like they're, like, dead bodies or something. Like, you know what I mean? Attention, do not dig here, you've been warned. Oh, I really want to dig there. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's try not to dig there or something. Oh, what's this? 
You found a hint? How do I activate hints? Probably the hint menu. Don't take advice from old people. Oh, come on, man. Respect your elders, dog. Okay, let's get back into the game. Um, oh, I really want to dig down in that one spot. Can we just, like... Is that just, like, a ladder up if I choose to go... What is that? Holy fuck, boss battle! Oh, this is gonna be sick! Oh. Stepping in front of the dragon wasn't the smartest decision in Tim's career, but it it probably... It'd probably be the last decision he'd ever make. His cooking point was the dragon's favorite. Ending 14 of 100. Ending 2 for us today. Um, was not expecting that. Okay. Um, really caught me off guard there. I thought we were setting up for a massive boss battle, and alas, that was not what we got. Regardless, the scars all over Tim's skin, skin made the hero look even more adventurous than before. Cool. Dude, I really want to know what's at the bottom of that hole. Hey, our character changed. That's pretty neat -o. Um, alright, let's go get the sword again. <laughs> Maybe we don't head down there. We'll, 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 we can always go back down there another time. Let's go see what's to the right if we uh, get the sword, because that's probably where we have our best chance of ever seeing the princess. And, jeez, if that princess is anything as hot as Peach or Rosalina, I'm definitely into, um, uh, I'm definitely into it. Alright, let's... Yeah, it's weird how, like, once you pick up some items, it seems like you can't jump as high. I mean, it makes sense. You're carrying more weight. It's a super realistic game. All right, what's up, dude? Can I kill you? I can! Okay, we're never gonna make any progress, dude. We, we really aren't. That's another ending? Oh, I feel really bad. That guy was super helpful. Oh, now they're doing a slow-mo shot. Tim removed the legendary sword from the stone just to put it inside a friendly guard. He was arrested and publicly executed under the charges of being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, ending four. I wonder what ending one is. Is ending one supposed to be the most obvious ending? I would assume so. Oh, that's... That's kind of a shame. I feel really bad about that. I kind of want to kill the king now, just to see what happens to the king. Tim was a psycho and got what he deserved. The day after his execution, his brothers decided to pick him up where he left off and fulfill the prophecy. Oh, sweet, I'm a little, little green tunic guy now. Oh no, the guard's just dead. Oh, that's actually sick. Now we get our sword back way quicker. Oh, that's incredible. Okay, I'm actually really happy with the, the trade-off there. Can we make it up there? It seems like there's a hatch. If I don't have the sword, can I jump higher? What if I kill this guard? <laughs> okay, I'm a fucking idiot, dude. I just I just have to do it, man. Like, it, it, it's like dangling a piece of candy in front of me, man. It, like, I'm gonna eat it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna have the willpower to say no. Tinko removed the legendary sword from the stone just to put it inside of a friendly guard. Is this the same ending? He was arrested and publicly executed under the charges of being an asshole. So is that the same ending? Or is that like a different version of the same ending? Hell if I know, dude. Yeah, I don't think we get anything new for that one. So that was kind of a waste of time. It was like a big middle finger to anyone watching this. Like, you just lost a minute of your life. And the sword's not there anymore? Oh, fuck me. Okay, I'm gonna go get the sword back. Dude, I know I said I would go get the sword and kill the king, but I kind of want to see what's over here to the left now, man. I, I just really can't help it. I, I just have to keep exploring. That's just the type of person I am. Um, okay, this is, the, this is what the, the shop sign did say at one point. Get out of my shop, you bastard. Make a false move and I'll use this thing. Fuck you, gay! Oh, dude, we got a shotgun. I didn't even realize he was holding one. Oh, that's nuts. What's over this way, then? Oh, dude, a button? I have to touch it. Dude, this game's actually pretty neat. I don't know if we'll do, like, a full series on this or anything, but if you guys do want to see more, let me know. Like, drop a like on the video and let me know. I'm not sure if we'll explore more. Um... Am I wrong? That thing at the top looks similar to the hint we already found, but it actually looks like a crown, maybe. What would that be? Mysterious door. We probably need a mysterious key or something. I don't think we're able to do anything with that yet. But either way, it's cool to know that that's there. Um, what's over, what's over this way? Let's keep exploring, guys. You never know what you might find. Um, can we, like, blow up terrain with a shotgun? Is there any point to the shotgun? Hello. Oh, <laughs> I should have probably talked to him first. I'm a fucking idiot. Wait, what did that say? Something palette unlocked? Options. Palette. Palette 8? Did that just make the game look different? 
Yeah, not really feeling it. Okay, let's go to let's go back. Let's let's make it what it was before. Okay, we'll never know who that guy is or what he added to the story. I might have made a terrible mistake. Um and it seems like we weigh too much to get up there. And I don't think we can even get up to there, so let's go right here. Oh, enemies, jeez. Oh, this thing's sick. Dude. Oh, there's a door right here. Um, this cannon is aimed at the Dark Fortress for express delivery. Please do not touch it. Okay. <clears throat> oh, wow, we're going end game. Um, okay. Looks like there's a shovely spot here. We're at the dark bridge now. Um, I don't know what I'm getting myself into, guys. I'm just gonna progress, I guess, and see what happens. I don't really know what to expect over here. Um, I can't even jump up to get to that button if I even wanted to. Okay, I don't think we're supposed to be here right now. This just doesn't seem like the, oh geez, spikes. Am I dead? Oh. Well, this is probably better than what was down there. I don't think I could have made that jump, so I'll take it. I'm kind of afraid to touch this button, but I think I have. Oh! I didn't see what was down there. Oh, damn it. I was going to see if we could, like, wall bounce past that. Uh oh. Okay, what is the end goal here? I don't even know if I can. I think I have to, like, die here. I think I'm, like, in a bottomless pit of enemies. What's over here? It's like a... Yeah, I'm fucked, guys. I don't think I can get back up. I think I'm just gonna have to take the L. I'm gonna lose my shotgun. That sucks, dude. I was out of that area, and then I went right back into it. Damn it! Oh, that sucks. Oh, they're, they're playing tennis with me, man. They're off on it all special. Uh, they're not that weak when they come all at once, right? I could have fought them off forever, actually, game. Tinku was outnumbered, defeated, and finally used as a playing ball. Feels bad, man. Either way, we got another ending, which means we're making progress when we fuck up. And that's pretty cool. I don't know if I was really set up for that part of the game yet. Maybe I was missing some items or something. I feel like I couldn't progress very well. Either way, we got another ending, and that's pretty neato burrito. I still want to kill the king. After being tortured for months, Tinku escaped back to home. But the sequels were hard on him. Press any button. Okay, pretty cool stuff. What the... <laughs> what? What did I trip over? I didn't even see anything. That day, little minion tripped over a rock right after leaving his house and fell right on his face. The guard in front really questioned if this was indeed the hero the kingdom needed. The guard's dead, bro. And this shit happened? <laughs> bro. You gotta be kidding me with that. Dude, we're not getting any late game ending. These are all the early ones, dude. There's probably so much more we can explore. I'm excited. I also still feel bad about killing that one dude who gave me a pallet. Such a stupid fall. Little Minion's face looked flatter than before, and that's really saying something given how pixelated it already is. He'll watch his step next time he goes outside. Can I do the same thing? No, I can't do it anymore. Okay, let's go get our fucking sword and let's progress because gee, ah. Ouch. Dude, we're friends, man. What you doing, dog? We're the same person now. All right, let's get the sword and kill the king. I just need to know what happens, guys. I feel like that would alter the story here for a long time. Plus, the king's kind of creepy anyway. He made an incestuous joke early on in the game, if you guys remember that. What's that thing right there? I don't know how to get to that. I'll have to finger that out. Cool. All right, we're finally going to do this. It's been a few minutes. And now we're going to make it happen. Hello. Oh, the noises made me feel really bad about it. Oh, jeez. All hail king, little minion. As the previous ruler... Oh, am I the king now, dude? Finished the turn of the kingdom, entered an era of prosperity... Oh. Quite brief. Because little minion's idea of quick quickly became popular. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. Ending 5 of 100. Dude, we're slamming out endings here, man. 100 total. We need to, we need to get to step in here, man, if we're going to get 100. I wonder if anyone's found all 100 of them. I feel like that might be tough. Little Minion, the brief, recovered from the injuries of the murder attempt. To spare his life, he swore loyalty to the new king, much to his humiliation. Cool. Um, Not exactly sure where to go now. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, we can do that jump now. Oh, okay, sweet. It was the sword that was holding us back. All right, let's see what's up here then. Can we drop down into this? No. 
Little Minnie jumped into the chimney, ready to share the spirit of Christmas and gift copies of Reventure. Everyone loved the game and left a 11 out of 10 review on Steam community page. Oh, now I get it. Now I understand why the reviews are so good. The game's ass. They're just begging for reviews. No, I'm joking. This is actually really fun. I'm enjoying this. Ending, whatever. All right, cool. Dude, we are, we are killing it right now, guys. We are killing it. All right. After receiving overwhelming reviews from everyone about his game, Tenku was filled with motivation and ready for a new quest. Oh, we're Santa now. That's pretty neat. Um, if we do progress to the right, I want to go grab this sword. Because we should probably go do what the game actually wanted us to do. And that's progress. Um, but also maybe the game wants us to keep dying. It seems to, it seems to advance the storyline. Also, I still want to fall down that hole down in the lava world. So much to do, man. Nonlinear adventures, I just, they're too much for Peanut Brain McGee over here. I just can't help it. All right, we're not gonna kill the new king. Although, okay, the, the, the new king's gone. I don't feel like I need a shield. It's just gonna weigh me down. Oh, I see you carry the legendary sword. I'll lower the bridge. I wonder if we could have just jumped over without the sword. If we, uh, if we didn't go down the chimney. I bet we could have. Those crops were completely destroyed by the dragoon. Thank God our remaining food supplies are safely stored underground. Sweet. Oh God. Dude, that's bullshit, but now I know I can go in here, so that's good. Oh, that's him dead already. What's this? What do we find? We found the hook claw straight out of Zelda, dude. How do we use this thing? Oh, that's pretty neat. So anytime, it looks like you can only use it if there's one of those bars above you. Ooh, that was a pretty nifty jump. Um, what does this cannon do? I don't, I bet that cannon, oh, it's tough for me not to click a cannon, but I'm gonna abstain, because I don't wanna go back to that shop if that's what it is. Cause I kinda like exploring this way. We're aiming this cannon to the west in case the dragon decides to strike again, but we're out of ammo. All right, we'll come back and do that then at some point, I promise, guys, I just, I promise we'll do it. I just don't want to go back to the shop in case, you know? Step over the altar to sacrifice your items. Do I want to do that? Oh, I also want to know what's above us here too, though. Oh, this is tough, guys. I just, oh, there's a parkour section, dude. There's an alt, I don't want to lose my hook claw. I just got it. That I, It would be so hard for me to just go get it back every time. Um, okay, we're gonna go to the altar. This seems like it's 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 pretty advanced, so we'll do the altar. This isn't the altar. Bro, I thought this was where I just was. What does this sign tell me? Dude, there's so much to this game. Uh think twice before jumping on those platforms. Okay, I can handle a little little platforming, dude. Who do you think I am, game? Oh shit, now I can't get back. Oh I'm oh no. Well, this is where we end, guys. No! <laughs> I can handle a little bit of platforming. A miscalculated jump resulted in Tinku falling, in, falling into a lava pit. This was not the ending he would have wanted, but it surely was the one he deserved. Falling into lava, dude. Are you kidding me? What an amateur way to go out, dude. Of all the cool stuff we found over there, including an altar, we end up falling into a lava pit. All because we got a little penisy over some platforming. I think we can make that. I think we just need to not touch the middle platform. And if we don't have any items, it would probably go better. Maybe that's why the altar's there, to get rid of your items. Oh, jeez. All right, we're a burnt little charbok again. Um, I don't want to go get the sword, and I think we can bypass the sword if we do this. Um. Oh, wait, what's that? There's a door right here. Hello? What do we have here? Is that a tunic? Um, you got Mr. Hugs. The fuck is Mr. Hugs? Mr. Hugs unlocks the hidden powers of love, but forbids the use of violence. Okay, it's probably- Oh, is there a little cat there? Oh, that's adorable, man. Wait, what the fuck? Right after do adopting Pavlov, or Pavlov, <laughs> thank you, kept filling his heart with the love of missing cats. Unfortunately, he filled his throat with the hairballs and eventually choked to death in his bed. Oh my god, dude. Ending 11 of 100, Feline Company. 
I, I truly feel like that's what I'm destined for, guys. I think I'm going to be Crazy Catman. If, I know I've said this before, but I really do think that'd be fun to, to be Crazy Catman. Who needs, who needs women's when you got cats? Every cat in the kingdom cried for the loss of Tinku. Pavlov sw Pavlov swore. You take over his will and prepare for a new adventure. Oh my god, I'm a cat now, dude. That's the best death we've had yet. There's literally cats just sitting everywhere now. This is so cool. All right, let's get... Oh, this is so neato, dude. I wonder if we can take a sword and kill some cats. I'm, I'm not going to do that, although I'm sure it's possible. So now we can just bypass that. We don't need a sword anymore. And I, that makes me kind of happy. So let's grab the hook shot. Hook shot. And let's head back up there. I want to see what that altar does for us, because I think that might be pretty neato. Hopefully we can jump over this little beefy chud. My platforming skills are incredible, dude. When when Mario Maker 2 comes out, guys, I'm going to make so many videos on that, and it's over for anyone that thinks they can stop me. Okay, where's this altar? Was it right in here? Yes, it was. All right, so we're sacrificing the hook claw, which will do what for us? Oh, we need to fill it up with a bunch of blued. What do you say, Mr. Sign? Step over the altar to sacrifice your ot- oh, okay, that's just in case we come from a different direction. Um, I kind of want to go see- oh, I don't want to be down here. Fuck this, dude. I know this is probably cool, but we'll be back another time, you know? I'm sure we'll be back. Unless you guys hate this, then we'll probably never play it again. I don't know if we're going to make this a series or not, but I'm enjoying it for today. And if people do want to see more, maybe we can find some more endings. I just like games in which you never know when you're going to die. It's kind of like real life, dude. You never know when a bus is going to hit you. That was morbid. I take that back. But you should you should really go call your loved ones, guys. Okay, let's just jump up here. <laughs> I need to shut the fuck up sometimes. Oh my god, there's a giant strawberry up there, man. Actually, I'm kind of glad we got rid of those items. I don't know if we would have made it up here. You got a strawberry! You really have to love strawberries to climb a mountain for one. Strawberries are my favorite fruit, and cats are my favorite animal, so, I mean, holy shit. Polov broke a leg on the way back, but that strawberry was totally worth it. Strawberry. Alright, do we lose our cat now? Because that's going to make me sad if we're no longer a cat. I really hope we're still a cat, dude. Jesus. Polov. Polov was lost in, a ma in Macro Mountain. What was wrong with that place? His distant cousin decided to go there and see if he could find him. Okay, so now we're some, like, red dude. I'm gonna go fall down that hole, guys. I really have to know what's over there. Oh, fuck. I was scratching my eye, so I was temporarily blinded during that and just ran straight into an enemy, so... That would explain the, uh... Oh, that thing up there got bigger. Do you guys see that? The thing right up to my top right. That wasn't that big before. I need to go investigate what this is. Hello? Alright, we'll uh, maybe come back and figure that out. Um, Alright, shovel's here. Sorry, I had to like remember where the shovel was. Also, something's in that... It seems like there's a crevice in the mountain to our left whenever we go over yonder way, so maybe we'll need to do that here soon. But first, I want to fall into the hole. I don't know why I couldn't fall in there. Seems like we can also cut right. Wait, maybe we don't... Oh, Dude, I keep thinking the stuff on the left is lava. It's confusing. Oh, that hint from earlier that was there is gone. Is this game ever evolving? Here's the spot. Attention, do not dig here. You've been warned. Let's do it, guys. I need to know what's in there. Because it's just gonna, if, if I don't do it, it, I know some of you guys are just gonna be freaking out. If, if there is ever an episode two, I, once again, I don't know if people wanna see more of this fucking game. You guys could fucking hate this. This could, this could just be hit with comments of, wow, Speedy, fuck this game. No, I'm joking. No one's gonna say that. Um, let's go. L My name's Lump. Lump closed his eyes and remembered that treacherous signpost as he fell into the bottomless pit. Ironically, since there was no bottom. Or impact, he just starved to death? Bro, imagine that in real life, dude. I mean, I guess there would be no situation that could ever possibly happen, but imagine falling, just never losing that feeling of falling and starving over the course of days. Dude, that's worse than my comment earlier about getting hit by a bus. 
nightmares about endless falls were pretty common in Lump's family. Lump woke up when he heard the guard outside. Let's keep heading left, guys. Shit. Yeah, let's, let's go left, and uh, we'll just keep progressing this way. Do I want a sword? I don't really need a sword. Not where I'm going. So fuck a sword, dude. Um, now something apparently might be in here based off... You guys saw that there was something to our left earlier. I just don't know how to get to it. Maybe in one of these? Stupid games with their push against walls, dude. You can't push against any of those. So I guess we'll just keep going this way. Maybe since we don't have an item this time, we can jump above that guy we killed. Or maybe he'll just be back and we can talk to him. Um, we can't grab the shotgun. Oh, there's something up here. Oh, we can't jump high enough, dude. Shit. Get out of my shop, you bastard. Okay, that button, we already know that that's nothing. I don't know if we can even jump high enough to get past this, dude. Oh, he's just straight up gone. Damn, I want to know what's up there, but we can't jump high enough. I don't think there's anything else out in this direction. So I think we'll take the cannon. Yeah, I can't do any crazy jumps there. The cannon is what it is. Let's eat ourselves back over, guys. Let's see what we can find. <laughs> the strawberry's gone. There's some signs and some stuff up there, though. I wish we had the shovel for this. I would like to know what's in that hole. Okay, so let's not go the same way we did last time. We can touch this button now. What does this do for us? I feel like we should have the hook shot. Okay, that just blocks off that way, which seems kind of stupid. Can we go to the left here? Or the right, rather? I'm stupid. Nope. I don't know my left from rights, guys. Holy shit. Imagine watching such an idiot. Um, maintenance personnel only. Sounds perfect for me. Let's hit the button. That's pretty cool. Uh, looks like left is our only option. Found another button, which made an elevator. And we'll head exit stage right or left. I don't know anymore, dude. The dark hall. Where's the dark hall gonna take us? <sighs> Probably should have jumped that. I would rather know what that sign says, but we'll take the dark elevator. Going up in life is always a good thing. All right, I jumped over quick in case it squished me. An anvil. Dude, that looks like death if I've ever seen death. I don't know what death looks like, but I would imagine that's death. I'm skipping it. Right? I mean, if I were to guess, I, I, I bet we grab that and it breaks the floor below us. Or we knock it off and it breaks the floor. I'm not that stupid. Help, I'm not feeling well. Oh, shit. It's the princess. Oh. Um. Holy shit! Okay, dudes, I, uh, I'm very sorry. I wish I had face cam on. But I, uh, dude, I went flying. It seems the princess was not guarded by a swinging anvil. Um, was not just guarded by a swinging anvil, but also by a mimic in the shape of her. Lump was cut, chewed, digested, and finally turned into heroic goo. Wow. That was terrifying. It, it, like, you know, here's the thing. When you're playing a scary game, you know jump scares are coming. When you play this, you don't expect it. Lump's spirit was reincarnated into a hobo that occupied his house. Um, <laughs> am I a hobo now, dude? Oh my god, I just need a skateboard and a ramp now. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for the first episode. If you guys want to see some more, drop a like on the video, and I will catch you guys on the next episode. If I don't know if you guys want to see more. I really don't, but um, it's different than what we normally play. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And we'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye, everybody.